Hello and welcome to my new tutorial on how to use the clamp. I've heard a lot of people have struggles to use the clamp, so that's why I made the tutorial. Let's go right into it. Alright guys, uh, we're not gonna see the clamp now, because we need one thing before that. So first things first, how every time, how do we access the make pen? So, open your watch, go on backpack, there you have make a pen. Press on use, it will appear in front of you. If you made, if you did that, grab it and you will see the clamp. This is how the clamp will look like. It has gizmo on the side, has the symbol for the clamp, and has this reset. I will go over it, um, what the single things do, just in a sec. Let me show you guys what you, what you can do with the clamp. So there, there we have a sword. It's just a built sword, so nothing real. But we'll see there's a sword in the middle, like a little prop sword. We can grab that, and we, then we can just like hit stuff with it. We can build our own quest. We can build our own PvP with that kind of stuff. All right, let's get into the tutorial now. Hi right, guys. First, we gotta see what the wiring is doing to the clamp. First things first, open your tools, go to your tool, connect, and then there we have it. That's all we need for the clamp. So you're gonna see if you look at the clamp, you have this white dot. This will notify if you can clamp it or not. So we have two parts of it. We have the top part, the clamp part, then we have the bottom part part base so let me show you what the top part is doing so if you if we connect the top part to the cube right here you're gonna see there's a red line to the top part if we connect the base to the sphere right here you're gonna see there's a red line to the base from the sphere what this is actually doing is the cube is connected to the clamp that means Wherever the clamp is moving, the cube also moves. It doesn't matter what rotation, it doesn't matter how high it is, it doesn't matter where it is, it will be clamped to this position. So, if we have the base connected to the sphere, this, wherever the, the um, base goes, the cube will move. But wherever the sphere goes, the clamp will move. Let me show you right now. Let me select move and move the cube. If we move the cube, nothing will move because nothing is connected to the cube except the clamp but the top part. If we move the clamp, you gotta see only the cube moves where it goes. We can move it sideways, up, down, we can rotate and everything. If we now move the sphere you're gonna see everything moves like the whole structure that means everything connected to the base will move will follow it so the clamp will follow everything connected to the base you can only connect one object to the base though so if you have this object connected to the base it will move it will move the clamp too if we have this connected to the top part Everywhere where the clamp moves, the other stuff will move also. That's how we use the clamp. I can show you now if we are doing it the other way around. If you want to unconnect it, by the way, you have to select the object, go where you connected it, and let go. Same things, same thing go for the top part. If we connect this, however, to the base, and connect this to the top same things happen the same things happen if we move this everything moves if we move the clamp only the sphere moves because it's connected to the top if we move the sphere nothing moves because it's only connected to the top if we move the sphere up here and then move the clamp it will also move it doesn't matter where it is as long as it's connected to the clamp Hi guys, let me show you on how I made this sword. 
that you can actually hit with. That's just an example of what you can do with the clamp. So, we have the self-made sword right here, and we have the clamp, and we have the sword prop. Basically, like explained before, everything connected on top will follow the clamp. Everything connected to the base of the clamp, the clamp will follow the object or prop. That means if we move now this oh it's frozen, wait a second. If we move this now, everything moves. So what we gotta do is to put it in here, we have to scale it down. You will see everything scales down even. Everything scales down when we doing this. The problem is we didn't unwire it. First you gotta unwire it, then you go on scale. You scale this down to a nice size so you can hide it in the sword. Then we take move and we move it into the sword. Now here's the tricky part. You gotta see and see for yourself how can you now connect the sword to the clamp because um, we cannot just connect it like this if you have to fly in it or fly around it and see if you can select it so basically that's how I did it now I found a spot where I can select it from the side now I will connect it to the base now the sword is connected to the base while this sword is connected to the top and we can grab the sword now and swing it. Same with this one, we can swing both. And this was for the clamp. By the way, before we end this, this is the release clamp. That means if we have something connected to it, like a button or anything else, and we send an execution to it, this will release everything connected to the clamp. This will release everything connected to the clamp. You will see the zero right there. That means zero signals are being sent. If we're gonna change it, however, to one with configure, you can set a signal to one. That means it will always send a signal, no matter what. It's always sending a signal now to release the clamp. And this was it for the clamp. So if you guys like the tutorial that I made for the clamp, if you guys want to see more, you know what you gotta do. Subscribe, like, and drop a comment on what you want to see next. And yeah, we're gonna see each other in the next tutorial. Bye!